Yo, what's up on YouTube? It's Bob Mike here. Back with another video. So today I got you guys with the official LeBron James build. And you see by the title, so I'm gonna create the official LeBron James build 2K24. Now this build by itself has a weird name, but it, it says it in the same, inside the anchor, Maestro. Now, on the shades of, you see the LeBron James right here on the screen. Now I made this build have contact dunks, also have blocks. I try to resemble LeBron James. Now it's not the exact same, specific play styles LeBron James, but again, it has the height. I'll show you guys in detail because the weights and stuff, we had to kind of alter the weights because we had to make it in a way it still kind of have speeds because LeBron is 250. And if we make this ball 250, 6'8", it's going to be slow. So we kind of had to alter the weight, but overall with the wingspan, we have the LeBron James board. Okay. Contact dunk, a shoot, playmaker is crazy. No, you know, you got a diamond unlock and stuff, of course. Now, without further talking, I'm going to show you guys the exact same ball step by step. If you guys enjoy this type of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I make the best build videos. Y'all can comment down. I'm gonna give you guys the build videos. If you have any kind of player, you if you want to make any kind of player build, put it in the comment section below. I'll do some trial and error and try to figure out the exact build you guys want. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We're so close to 4K subscribers. And yeah, 2K24, we grinding top rep, everything we grinding. And yeah, let's get right into the video. I right, now, so we start off if um, hamsters really matter. I mean, no, it doesn't matter. The Bond James. Right hand, jersey number, of course, it matters. 23, but not jersey number 23. Now, of course, you guys don't need to make it 23. If you're trying to resemble LeBron, you probably need to, though. Now, position, LeBron, of course, plays small forward. Of course, sometimes he switches around, but we try to make the most accurate build. Now, LeBron is a six, eight and a half, six, nine. Gets the, are, are you, we're gonna keep a six, nine right here, make a tall build right here. Now, weight, he's 250, we're gonna keep it 210. I'm sorry, we have 40 pounds decrease, but if we put it to 250 right here, I'm gonna put it to 250, it's real height, real weight, I mean. If it those strength really had, like shows 99 strength, the speed is gonna be minus nine, it's gonna decrease lots of attributes that we do not need right now. So we do need action, as a matter of fact. So we're gonna put a 210. It's gonna be it's gonna be skinny, but you know, we had to have what we gotta do. Now LeBron's wingspan is seven foot, so we're gonna keep a seven foot. And uh, we're gonna press continue. Now right here, you guys are gonna follow me step by step. I'll give you guys some kind of like leeways and if you guys wanna unlock some kind of different badge, I'll tell you guys what to do because uh, people have different play style and like LeBron's build, when people say LeBron build, it's kind of vague, but we know LeBron has all contact dunks. So we have to all our contact dunks. In order for that, we will need 86 driving dunk. We're gonna have 86 driving dunk and a 75 vertical is technically what's required to have contact dunks. But we're gonna have an 80 because if those 75 unlocks it to have more contact dunk animation, we're gonna have the 80 vertical. Right here off the top, we already unlocked contact dunks. Now, we need some kind of post fade. Kind of have some kind of post fade and like post up because you know LeBron likes to post up. We're not gonna do too much on it, so we're gonna have a 70 post control. We're also gonna have um, like ball handling stuff, so we're gonna be straight for unpluckable, don't worry about it. We're not gonna lock it through post control, we're gonna unlock it through. Um, Ball handling. Ball handling is gonna be 80. Now, standing dunk, if we don't see that much LeBron standing dunk, we need, we're we creating a big man. We kind of like creating a six nine small forward. So we do need standing dunk, we're gonna have an 80 standing dunk. Solid st standing dunk, we're gonna have 80 standing dunk. We'll get some contacts with that. And also we're gonna have fast twitch and rise up and all those magic lock. Now layup, even though LeBron, I ain't gonna lie, is good at layups. We're gonna have it at around like 66 layups. We're not gonna touch. I know he, he could do drive the lips and stuff, but like we need some other attributes, like shooting and stuff. 2K does not want us too much overpowered, but right here, keep low shot 58. Now these two, it doesn't really matter because we have mid range and uh, three pointer. Like mid range, gonna have a 77 mid range. I mean, uh, three pointer gonna have 77 three pointer, very solid. And also mid range, you're gonna have 83 mid range. So we're gonna be shooting some stuff right here. Remember, mind you, yo, the playmaking is almost maxed out on everything. We're gonna have maxed out ball handling, right? So. These two goes hand in hand. You go for contact dunks, stand down, we got was pretty solid. I know driving layup is kind of low. I'll take us to put, I'll give you an alternative option to put it high. But right now, just follow this specific steps to get the very overpowered build. And then I'll tell you guys later on for a different option. Now, pass accuracy, you know LeBron is a dimer. You know LeBron is a dimer. So we gotta put an 87. As soon as we put an 87, dimer unlocks, everything unlocks, the break started, it's on gold. And all that now ball speed most people don't really focus on it it's 50 very solid but we're gonna keep it at 60 give it a little boost if we're gonna have speed we're gonna have a 
a solid speed of the ball at the same time. Now, interior defense is still going to keep them solid as well. We're going to have an 82 interior defense. 82 interior defense. Perimeter and uh, steals. Again, LeBron could play defense. But I know most people leave this blank, but I'm still going to give him like around a 55 steals and 55 perimeter. Now, in this game, it's pretty solid having those. Not the best again, yo. Do not come to the comment section. It's, it's garbage. I'll tell you guys another option uh, if you guys don't want this. But right here, both, put a pull with them at 55. Very solid. Now, blocks. You got to max out the blocks. You got to max out the blocks. Now, chase down is going to be on gold. Because I know the bonds, you know, the iconic chase down stuff. They're known for it. It's going to be on gold. Just wait for it because uh, we're not really done with it. <laughs> Matter of fact, here, I'm going to tell you guys. The speed put is uh, 77. Right here, we need 77. It's going to lock chase down right here. Now, rebounds. That's not his primary focus, but we're going to have 70 uh, rebound, offensive rebound and 77 defensive rebound. 75 defensive rebound. 70 right here, 75. Two of them, solid rebound. They can catch rebound. We're not really trying to go against centers. We're just trying to have a small forward, good, solid play. Here. Now, stamina and stuff is going to be maxed up. Don't worry about the physicals. We got all physicals up. Now, as you guys can see from the build, everything is all, all around. Other than the primitive instance, I'll tell you guys later on. Now, extra ratio, we're going to need it at 63. It's not that much of a difference. Strength 78. Now, this is one of the things people are going to go crazy on. Because I know LeBron has more strength on it. Post block that's probably going to be um, silver. We could have probably had it higher. 84 probably put it to gold. But, and then vertical, we have the 80. Stamina, max it out. Right? I gave you guys leeway. This is why I gave you guys leeway to actually modify the build. It's not already done. Right? This is the basic concept of the build. You guys could increase driving layup and stuff, so on and so forth. For the people who um, who really want perimeter and steals, this is the time to just max it out, right? It doesn't really give you that much. I'm gonna tell you guys another thing. Vertical, I told you guys, you to get a contact vertical, all you need is 75 vertical. So a 75 vertical depends on what you're gonna sacrifice on. So 75 vertical will still give you contact dunks and also gives you more leeway to upgrade more on the, um, the perimeter stuff. Now, we're gonna keep this at 55. And for the people who wanted, um, like driving layup and stuff, you get the driving layup and so on and so forth. Yeah, driving layup at 73. Now again, this is the thing I tell you guys. Y'all can put it in the comment section below because some people do not even like free throws. If you don't play, if you don't play a racket, you do not need free throws. So you can literally put it all the way down. But again, the way 2K made it, it's like if you put it down, you see that? It's gonna decrease all your three-pointer and mid-range. So put it the minimum possible. So we want 77, right? 77 and 83. As soon as 83 right here, that's set, let's put it at 58. And then uh, put the others, I guess, in post control. You guys can modify it in any different type of build. Now, this build is goes overpowered. But again, if you, me personally, I'll probably put vertical 80 and decrease the driving layup. Because 60, 72 driving layup is pretty solid. But having it at 66, it's still going to give you like a solid badge. And also, you're not going to miss a driving layup unless it's contact. And if it's contact, it's most likely going to initiate Contact dunks. I don't know why I decreased that. Uh, 86, not 85. 86 is the contact dunks. To give you the animation on the contact dunks and put them in vertical. 80 vertical. 80, 80 vertical. Again, of course, we have some other leeways. Uh, me personally, I probably max it out over here. And uh, free throws, of course. Free throws, post control. I probably put post control over that. Now this is the build right here. But I know most people are probably going to be triggered about the perimeter and steals. Trust me. If you have 55 in perimeter defense and the 55. Matter of fact, it's uh, the height is 6'9", right? Depends who you're gonna be matched against. You guys could honestly decrease the interior defense if you do not want. Anchor is gonna be, uh, the minimum needs to be is 77, right? It's gonna be, oh, never mind, go lower. Okay. Just put it 74, because you're gonna lose um, post control, and they can have a uh, thing to upgrade perimeter, perimeter and stuff. You can make it lower. So this three could alternate depending on your play style. If you're trying to play big mans, put all of them low and put it on interior defense. Like, we don't need that much steals if, if you're trying to play big man's, right? So, come on forward. Put, it, put these low and max it out right here, right? That's for big man's. But let's say you don't want to play big man's. You're mostly going to get matched out with guards and stuff, right? See how it kind of like messes up the attributes when I switch around? We need this maxed out anyways. Right here, put it on interior uh, perimeter defense right here, 83. These are the three attributes you guys would switch around depending on how you're gonna play. If you're in perimeter or interior defense. Again, interior defense is for big mans, which you're six nine, you're probably gonna be matched up with big man, so you probably need interior defense. If you don't, if you feel like you're gonna play guard, you have a big man, just vice versa and perimeter. 
Now, overall, LeBron's more of an interior defender than a perimeter defender. defender. I know he gets some steals and stuff, but overall, when you're trying to speak LeBron, you know, it's more of a perimeter, I um, mean, you know, interior defense. So we're gonna have 55. We're not gonna have too bad. It's still gonna be a solid 55 and max out the interior defense right here. And this is the build. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also for the speed, uh, I know I decreased the speed while I put it into the defense. You guys can switch around though. That's what I, I told you. I could put it in the comment section below, try it out and see what, what fits you the best. But yeah, this is like, I guess overall, this is the build. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys right here. And also if you guys wanna test it out, cause you probably need to test it out. Right here, of course, we have LeBron James right in the middle. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is the build, right? We're gonna go to test the build because you guys gotta test the build out and see if speed is. I was telling y'all, perimeter and stuff is the the key thing, right? If you guys feel like perimeter and if you're trying to balance out perimeter and tier defense, test it out over here. Test it out now. I want to see what's gonna. I'm getting matched up to. Uh, <laughs> ironically, I got matched up to LeBron James, so we're gonna have like around the same height and stuff. So I guess like I guess interior defense is kind of up. So he's probably gonna go for a drive. Interior defense kind of oh my goodness, that kind of H2L did in it. I was talking, so I was, I was not playing defense. So again, so this is why I, you probably need interior defense up more than perimeter, but it's up to your play style. But yeah, I don't want to really mess up the thing. I can't really talk what I'm commentating. But yeah, don't forget to like subscribe. We're on the way to 4K subscribers. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.